Hi, this is Layla in Los Angeles, California, the entertainment capital of the world, here to talk to Fari Boris about his upcoming album. I give all of my booty, me go free to set the ram, but don't you come and do? I give all of my booty, me go free to somebody, but tell me where all your homes in the room. Thank you for letting us do this in the middle of your session today. Uh, thank you so much just for coming down here to interview me. It means a lot. So, I was at this club the other night and your song was playing and it was just burning up the dance floor. How does it feel to see people dancing and moving to your songs and your lyrics? It feels amazing after four years of hard work, uh, finally watching people move, move around with the beats and I'm all voice. It just means a lot and I'm so grateful to have that opportunity. When's the release date? December 14th. I'll definitely be the first one in line. I hope you like it, but if you don't, you can bring it back for a refund. <laughs> I don't think that'll be necessary. <laughs> <laughs> so you've been doing music since you were a child. Mm -hmm. What led you to record your first album? You know, I started singing when I was really young. Um, however, it kind of took a backseat to my first passion, my martial art, and just got so caught up running my dojos uh, and helping my students competing. Uh, but four years ago, I made Sea of Ashams, and I kind of, uh, got into the studio and started recording my first album, that fast with him. So we're finally done and I'm kind of excited to let people hear it. It's very interesting to me that you're both a martial artist, karate sensei, and a singer. Martial art is an art too. If you look at a canvas, and uh, it's not just an end result of an artist picking up a brush and paint, painting over it, but it's the feeling behind that movements, behind that brush that makes it to an art. So the same thing with martial art, when you throw a punch, it's not just some physical movements of bones and muscles that's going to push this fist that. If you do that, it's just exercising. But it's the feeling behind this punch that makes it to an art. It's what drives it. And in martial art, we always tell our students that martial arts in here. And when you move with your heart, then it's an art. That's why we call it martial arts. The same thing with music, I believe. I think if, if you're creating those songs with your heart, um, you know, and you're really passionate about it, you know, I think it's very similar to, to what I've been doing all my life. I'm assuming you'll still be doing martial arts after this? Sure, always. Uh, martial arts saved my life, you know, I'll always be there to serve my students and do, uh, do everything I can for them. Who helped you with this album? Oh, so many great musicians, some of the best in Persian music. Brian Way, um, one of the best producers. And uh, he's the one. Without him, I wouldn't even complete this album. I wouldn't even be doing music. He inspired me so much and was always there to mentor me. and, and um, he was the one that actually motivated me to keep writing music, you know, and because of him I've been writing the last few years, just been writing every night. Uh, Sia Shams kind of opened the door and, uh, and I started working my first album with him. Uh, Paxima and some great musicians in Iran, I got lucky and I got all this contact and they've just been helping me so much. Plus my music teacher and all the great musicians that are behind the sounds. Can you sing us a verse or a chorus? I'd love to, um, I don't want to embarrass myself right now, I might, I might have to spend some time warming up my voice before I do that. Aww. So maybe uh, you know, if I have a chance after the cameras are off, I can do that. Well, I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> <laughs> I guess our audience will just have to wait to get the CD. <laughs> what are you working on currently? Sure, uh, we're completing our second album. We're about three songs away, we're recording the vocals now, and uh, our plan is to release that um, next summer. Do you have anything else you want to say to our audience? I know with the economy and everything, a lot of my students are going uh, through pain. Um, I just want to make sure um, when things aren't going your way, you know, don't get all bent out of shape. Have perseverance, you know, have hope. There's always a sun shining behind the clouds and everything's going to be okay. And, and just keep pushing through and be positive. Thank you so much for having us here. It was a blast being here with you. And I wish you the best with everything, with your new CD, new album. Everyone go pick it up. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you for coming down here all the way just to interview me. It means a lot. I appreciate it. Thank you so much.